Oh, yes, you're not seeing things. This is not Scenario Planet. This is a service. Welcome back, everyone, to another Train Simulator 3 video on the Midland Main Line. So, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show this off. And yes, this is the Holy Grail services. A double 45, which is based off of Royal Rail Tour. Um, and we're going to be driving it from Leicester up to Derby. Um, so, this is going to be fun. But look at this. The amount of horsepower on this train. Oh, wow. Uh, this is going to begin. We've got the Mark IIs behind us as well. Nice. And I think we're non stop as well. Oh, it's up on East Midlands Parkway. Okay. So there's two rail tour services, or two uh, Class 45 rail tour services, which you need Northern Trans Pennine for it to run. Um, this is There's one at 6 in the morning, then the other one's at 10 at night. So I thought well, we're not going to do that. Um, so this is supposed to be the the, uh, the the daylight one. But look at that! Oh, isn't it great? Um, let's get everything set up. It feels great just taking this off of Northern Trans Pennine because this train is, I suppose, well, I think you can actually use it on um, uh, on. Uh, oh, that, I can hear the brakes coming on because we've uh, got off the seat. I think you can um, drive this one on West Cornwall Local. For the fast services, um, I think that's really about it. So it's nice to actually have it on here. Hopefully the brakes will. There we go. So slowly coming. I'm worried then they weren't coming off. That was a 37 over there, which we might do that service at some point. You might see that as a video. Well, you'll find out. You guys will already know. Right. Let's get going. Yeah, there we go. Right, here we go. Get your headphones on, full whack. We are off. Heat are off. I love the weathering on these trains as well. Like this is quite an old train on trains and well. This is Northern Trans Pennine, uh, which came out back in oh, early 2019. So this is a pretty old loco, but it looks really good. I mean, look at the weathering on the side. I'd imagine they might have had a little bit more, but still, it's well, actually no, that it looks great for quite an old train in the game. And in a second, we're going to go full willy. But wait until we get on to um, this bit coming up, so the speed increases. Go full throttle. Yeah, a double 45. You don't see that every day. The 45 now has a new purpose. He's a nice train. Nice looking loco as well. Quite a stubby front to it as well. Right, let's do it. Full whack. Yes, fumes. And we are very good. Let's, let's get a vlog by for it. So let's go ahead and watch it now. We're sitting free. Yeah, so the other service from Derby to Leicester's at 22.05. So it's quite a. Um, yeah, quite a. Uh, I guess it's a shit field, so it's been quite a while. So yeah, for this, as I've said, you will need Northern Trans Pennine. Got any other routes? Northern Trans Pennine. That's my bloody Xbox pause button. It gets stuck in for some reason. It's new as well, and the controller's already getting stuck in there. 16 miles, platform 1 at 42 miles. And then we've then got Derby after that at 57. So it's about half an hour this, um, this service. Half an hour, pure hellfire. Now, if you haven't got Northern Trans Pen on, I really recommend that route as well. Set in 1982, which you might be like, oh, it's an old route. It's really good. Rubby trains, diesel, old trains, lots of 
crag and lots of fumes. So it's good. That's quite a long route as well, it's like 46 miles I think of the Trans Pennine from Manchester to uh, Leeds. It's good. What's the top set of these units? There's a Northern Trans Pennine, I think the top speed is 70. And that's, uh, we never really get out. No, it's, is it? It's 80. No, it's 80, I think, on there. But there is a 70 for a, lo a longer distance. We never really get these up to 80. Might be up there, actually, as I say. Keep it uh, floor the throttle and see what speed we get up to. We are going downhill as well at the moment, so well, it's not really getting much more, is it? Really, it's sort of yeah, quite slow now. Fifteen miles. I'm just absolutely shoot by. Let's get a uh, flyby shot. Beast approaches. Let me press F1 on the keyboard. That'll be a bit. A bit better. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that really I, just, I love seeing, yeah, trains from other routes included on other routes. It's just nice sort of seeing the trains from World UK collection. I suppose other countries as well sort of build up so much that you can have, you know, a train from that route comes over to that route and that train then goes over to there and you have extra services on there. It's great. Makes more variety, um, which I suppose for German routes, we get German routes, the amount of variety on them is like, psh, it's tons of trains. But for UK stuff, obviously there's a little bit less, as it's less sort of standardised. So it's nice when trains come across to other bits and bumps. Right, what are the stations along here? I think you've got Sponded. It's the other one. There's got to be another one for East Midlands Parkway. 80 miles an hour. Probably the fastest I've actually gone in this loco before. The Northern Trans Pennine, you don't really get much more than this. Unless you speed. Which you could. I think, yeah, this one's spawned in here, I think. Yeah, that one's spawned in, isn't that one? No, um, no, I can't remember the name. Sess something. Spawned in this one in Derby. System. I'm going to get, I'll probably keep getting spawned in the system mixed up. The two S's. There's got to be another station in there before then. So what's that? System. That one there. What's the next one up? There is enough one for East Midlands Parkway. EMP. Oh no, actually, it's the code for this station as well. EMP. 85 miles an hour. Good stuff. Yeah, it's got a fairly nice timetable on this route. There's quite a lot of variety on this route as well, because of, sort of what services you want to do. You've got, was it three layers? Um, the steam one, the well, this one, the Class 45 rail tours, and you've also got the ROG 37 services for the drag moves of the Electro Stars up to Derby. Although, weirdly, there's none going back the other way. I wonder if they went another way in the line. Um, yeah, and you've got the, they're sort of all about half an hour or so, then you've got the well, East Midlands trains, which I've probably actually driven less on this route now than the actual layers. You've got the East Midlands train services, which will range from about sort of half an hour or 20 minutes to 50 minutes or so, so they're quite nice. Time-wise, HST, VP 185. There it goes. Not so much screaming parts. Oh, you've got Loughborough as well. Maybe Loughborough's the next one. Poor Loughborough for getting out. But this one, yeah, this is not Loughborough. What's this one here? It's probably a suburb of Loughborough, isn't it? This one here, the tiny little stations. This one is Silby. So you've got Assistant and another bloody, yeah, Silby now. <laughs> Assistant, Silby, and I'm guessing Loughborough. 
Because we're going to get a fly box from through left, whereas we're absolutely flying along now. This bit almost feels a bit like Great Western. In a way, you know, diesel, mainline, four tracks. And sort of the slow stopper lines as well. Bit of industry as well. Which I think there's only one freight. Yeah, I didn't miss that. I think there is one freight service on this route. No idea what class six yeah, what class sixty six it uses though. Or is no, I don't think there is. Or is there? Because I've got southeastern high speed installed and you would think it would use the southeastern high speed in bits. Um so I'm actually not too sure on that, but I haven't seen the sixty six. So not sure. What's that one? What's this one? Don't say this one begins with an S as well. What's this one? Got a name? Barrow upon Saw. There's another one there, Barrow upon Saw. So you've got Cistern, Sealby, Barrow upon Saw, then Loughborough? Question mark. 97 miles an hour. Plus 45. Probably actually breaking the limit of the loco. Oh, uh, 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 yes, we are. There it is. The max speed. Under power or close to 90 miles an hour, so we are been a little bit naughty, but you know, we might as well give it a go. <laughs> Why not? Let's see what you know, speed we can get up to. That signal's a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know what that signal was there, but I saw a double green signal. Uh, I don't think we get double greens in the UK, um, Skyhook. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, I don't, that's really weird. That is. A double green. Oh, that was like horrible seeing that. Oh, a double, double green. Someone might put in chat now, it's like a special thing on the middle of the main line or something. Alright, let's um let's get ahead. Which is absolutely flying for it. No stop in this track. 101 miles an hour. Oh god, this feels weird. There it goes. Oh my absolute Wow. We're not speeding, so it's fine. Well we are because it's with the train we have got 90 but. It's worth it, it's worth giving it a bash. It is the main line, so go nice and quick. About six miles to East Midlands Parkway. I thought this thing would sort of get stuck at about sort of 70 or 80. I mean, it did start going a bit slow at 70, didn't it? But no, it's absolutely flying now. I need to test the brakes out, see how well they are. It's also nice just to have another UK route in the game. The last one was, well, it wasn't that long ago, it was uh, end of January. But yeah, nice to have another one in the game, another new operator as well. Um, good. Hopefully it's running well for you guys as well, it should be. Check out the um, yeah. I might check out the ROG 37 service, but I probably will. I'll say I won't, but I probably, probably will. Might as well give it a go. Not as exciting as these ones. So I'm just looking at the uh, replay of it to see sort of how it looks on there. There's a 158 there. Three miles or so. I'm just going to come back on the floor now. I think that's probably enough. Ooh, that's a bit of a dangerous footbridge. Where the fence is there? 
what's going on there? Where's the footpath? Why are there like flowers rising from the ground there? <laughs> they're, they're all, what's going on? That they're rising the flowers as we get closer. They're like start going up. They're growing as we go along. Yeah, we'll start bringing that down. 42 pass for you there. Top speed 90. Yeah, yeah. Start getting the uh, brakes on us. I can't imagine they're great. Right. Yeah, I'm fairly sure we should see the power station. Hopefully it will look all right, not really low res and like jetty like. Please don't load in the power station, look in a mess. That's what it did on the first look of it, it looked all sort of jetty like and weird from a distance. Don't load in right in front of the receiver because that's just nah. That's not nice. I reckon we might be a little bit early, but it's actually bringing our cam. Okay, did load in right in front of us. And it looks all sort of weird from a distance. So you can sort of see it looks a bit jelly and a bit sort of unsmooth. It just doesn't look pleasant. No, once you get close to it, it looks, it looks fine, it's, it looks awesome, but yeah, it's from sort of here, look at that, sort of like jelly and uh, odd. Yeah, here we are, East Midlands Parkway. There you go, and then, yeah, I just saw it load in, so I did like a little flash, and now it's to how it is now. Now it looks fine, now it looks really, really good. But I don't know if they'd be able to sort that, because yeah, that doesn't look particularly nice from a distance. Here it looks fine, but from that distance back there. Nice. We need to slow down, we've got rain coming up, I'm not flying it. That's not sensible. One minute. There we go. East Midlands Parkway. So that's what the majority of the journey. Complete. Oh, don't come to a stop. Counteract. There you go, counteract the break in there. One way to break the drain. I also don't have noticed with the rail tour services, it doesn't have a destination, um, which is probably it probably doesn't, does it? Because that you can see on there, I know there's Sheffield, so we're quite confident they actually say either Sheffield or I don't know, special rail tour service, like it does on um, uh, South Eastern High Speed. You know, it says like operated by Dovetail Games, you know, something just like that, just so it's. You know, it doesn't. It's not just blank, or at least the destination. That's what we're going on about. I don't know why the signs. This sort of station name's really far to the right. I don't know if there's like a missing image there, maybe licensing or something. There we are. Welcome to East Midlands Parkway. Let's go for a little wander. We are early, so we might as well. Oh, actually, we're not that early. Oh, we've got four minutes. Three minutes. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit... I don't know if it's like missing. Maybe that'll be like the airport logo or something. Which isn't too far away. Hmm. Quite a nice model of the station. There you go. Uh, oh. Climb up the ticket machine. That's quite close, but like inside the wall. Can we go in here? Oh, this looks... Some sort of outside area. Doesn't look like it has a roof, does it? Can't use the lift. That was one of the sort of big things, which I think we might. I thought, I thought we might have seen that on this route, but no. Working lifts are gone. Let's get up here. Mm, down here. Uh, yeah, we go down on this one. So what's the service frequency this way then? So every hour, and it's just to Nottingham. I suppose we go, we go to Derby, don't we? But yeah, there's the Radcliffe Power Station. Well, I suppose probably the biggest structure on the route. 
Not a collectible. Letter cleared. But yeah, I think yeah, that definitely would I would that would be nice if that could somehow be sorted. Just the way it, it loads in really, really low resin sort of well, jelly like. I don't know the, the best word for it. But it doesn't look, particularly look pleasant when it first loads up. And you can quite obviously notice that as well. Let's head back to the uh, train. Actually, what does it, what's it what does actually say it's operated by? Operated by Skyhook Games. Uh, no. Oh, it doesn't say anything at all. I mean, yeah, even if it just said operated by Skyhook Games, that would, that would be nice. So just blank, blank. And obviously it said it was going to Sheffield as well. What an awesome consist though. Ah, the plant's growing, look. Look at the look at the flower there, it grows. Well it looks like it starts growing as you get close to it. Let's get back in. Not too long. Looks like we are following something, let's hope it's a HST so we don't have to wait so long for it. Let's get a. Uh, no, I don't I'll probably take that on PlayStation actually. So if I take a screenshot on Xbox, I then have to transfer it through to the PlayStation, and yeah, I'll just take it on there. Double yellow. Let's have a look. What are we following? And apparently, I don't even go in there either, which is a bit disappointing. We are following. Is that a HST stopped at Long Eaton? I think it is as well. I don't know what we're following, unless we're not following anything. Maybe it's just for that junction. Yeah, it might just be for the junction. Let's get the door shut. The brakes can start coming off. And then we'll be off. And we'll do that 57. So not that far. Only 9 miles. I mean, that might be quite picky, but there's a, a barrier in front of the car park. Definitely some sort of new roads sky I've been using. I've seen these ones before. They look like um, little toy roads you got when you were, you know, were younger. Sort of built up, and you click them into place. Look a bit like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a barrier blocking the car park. I know it's quite nip. I mean, it's not been anything to do with the, you know, the the actual uh, thingy itself. But still, it's something you notice. I know it's quite sort of an important station as well. We've stuck in there quite a few times on that platform. And we go into the wannabe Clayton Tunnel, the sort of castle portal. I was just at HST fairly soon, uh, rocketing, uh, rocketing uh, down the line. Quite a cool tunnel, though. Right? In we go. In blue. Well, this train doesn't actually have trains in my free lines, in, so that's why it's doing that. Oh, I see a nice fly-by shot opportunity. No, why is it the free camera let us go out any further? Oh, I might do that. Interesting flying pass, and that's flying pass. Alright, it seems we may have missed the AWS there. That means it wouldn't have sounded on the outside. I don't know, well, the emergency brakes have gone off again now, so... Okay. <laughs> so that goes off towards Nottingham. So this is, this is actually a bit of track we haven't been on yet. We have traversed this bit. Oh, 
this island, yeah. Just this part of this section of the um, junction. So you've got Long Eaton, Spondon, and then Derby. So on that other bit there, would have been how we had. Uh, it was Leicester, of course. Then it was Siston, Selby, Selby, Barrow upon Saw, Loughborough, East Midlands Parkway. Yeah, that was, that was on that section, wasn't it? Am I missing anything? Yeah, I'm just gonna check the map because we 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 keep doing that. We keep getting sort of. Um, Something can't be right up the signal then. I don't know. But we keep getting, I keep seeing uh, the yellows coming up, but then it goes straight to green when you're a bit closer to it. I'm going to take that as quite, I'm going to get that off actually. Long Eaton. I quite like the stretch of the uh, of the route. Things we quite well done as well. Oh, well, something which is a little bit worrying. I can't see I can't see any line side fences. So anybody in their right mind, letting their right mind, can come up onto the tracks. There, that's because there's houses there. Oh no, you've got one there. Okay, well, there's one on that other area back there. Okay, that's good there. Okay, yeah, this bit's better. It almost seems like you can walk along that bit there. Oh no, I thought it was a footpath there. Okay, there we go. Okay, there is a line side fence now. <laughs> Little things, little things. You might think I'm being quite picky, but you probably are. But yeah, you know, it's just those little things which do make a difference, scenery-wise. Just no, no, they make a difference. That's that really massive footbridge. It's like the one at the Amex at Falmer. Bridge like that, there. It's quite new as well. So maybe they're planning to build a station there or something in the near future. Five and a half past the Derby. It doesn't take too long. We'll be going through um, Spondon shortly as well. Journey there. It's me, uh, four beans along here. We're at 57 miles, so I'll probably actually get there early. I can't imagine I'm going to get there at 57. It's going to go really slow for some reason. fast as well which is good. Four point three. I don't like that. I don't know like the way it does that. That's really that's slightly irritating. So I can't I can't see any train ahead. But it keeps flicking, yeah. Just as you get there from a uh, from a, a yellow aspect to a green aspect, which is not, you know, it, 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 I suppose it tricks you. It is tr tricking you, thinking, yeah, there's something ahead, but there isn't. I do do that in real life, but. Just, I 
there. Someone to subscribe there. Thank you for subscribing. You'll know when I'm recording this. So you can find out when you can and stuff. Right, so we're headed on. It's not slowing down fairly soon. Loading in quite late though. Those platforms, sort of the edge of the platform, it was quite sort of almost like kind of blurry. But yeah, it's funny, and then we'll, but as we get there, we'll that's it, sort of normal. Just little things. slow we are in Starby. Over the river. And down to five. So it's all that's what's bringing you down. Or counting down. So I'll that down even further. Again, wait for the bridge. That's good. There you go, welcome well, to Derby. Yeah, great to have another UK route in the game, especially the Midland Main Line as well. Quite the popular one. at some point we do see the middle of the main line south, the Bedpan route from uh, St Pancras up to uh, Bedford. Maybe at some point. But this is good enough for now. Where's that line go off there then? It's not coming towards Birmingham. Good fun, if you ask me. Doesn't look like you can actually go. I was just having a look there at the depot. Doesn't look like you can actually go in the depot, but I don't mind that. I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh no, you can't go in the depot. But I don't mind that. No, oh, it's coming to a. Well, the brakes are on a little bit. to be careful. And I think the service I'll probably do after, I don't know what I'm going to do after, so I'll sort of recorded this one but I don't know what I'm going to do after. It's either the ROG 37 I'll do, or a 158 service. I've only done one 158 service, so I might do that, although I'll sort of want to do the 37. I don't know. Well you guys, you guys will know already. Which I pick? Bad now. You have to go really close to it though. Well, there doesn't seem to be as close on this one as it was on the Steam one. Well, it's probably the same, isn't it? Just because on the Steam you sort of stick out quite a bit. 
don't know why they're walking up to the end there. Guys, right, this way. Train. There we go. Well, that is another layer on the middle of the mainland route. For that, you do need Northern Trans Pennine. Uh, everyone put in the Premier Chat Northern Trans Pennine for the Class 45 rail tour service. Hope everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Big fat stuff to tell Gamers for giving us a key to show it off. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.